Changes to the future of education unfolding in two different ways as Governor DeSantis signs a sweeping education bill here in Jacksonville, part of which helps charter schools. At the same time, Duval County School Board members are debating a plan to close dozens of schools as more families are choosing charters. The proposal to close and consolidate a long list of local schools has been met with outrage in the communities that would be affected. Now we're going, getting our first look at a timeline for these potential changes and the process that will give families a chance to speak out. School board members say the county is in this predicament due to rising costs for renovating buildings and failing enrollment. The school board is faced with a $1.4 billion budget gap. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell was there as the board worked through some of the planned details. And Janice Harris has more about the broad changes to education that Governor DeSantis signed into law today. We begin with Ann. A proposal to close nearly 30 Duval County public schools has created shockwaves for parents across the district. Parents like James Cummings. What was your reaction when you learned ABE was on the list of schools that could potentially close down? Uh, shocked, saddened, and concerned like a lot of parents uh, around the city, I'm sure. The consultant-created proposal is part of an effort to right-size the district in response to dropping enrollment, aging infrastructure, and higher costs, with inflation contributing to a $1.4 billion shortfall for a plan to improve and replace school buildings. At a workshop Tuesday, the Duval County School Board heard people's concerns. More than a dozen people spoke during public comment here today. Now, in my experience, public comment at a board workshop like this, where the board isn't voting on anything, is rare, underlining just how passionate some people in this community are about keeping their neighborhood schools open, even though the board is months away before making any final decisions. Parents told the board they were concerned about the potential closure of West Riverside Elementary. People are thoroughly, thoroughly scared about what you are looking to do. Fishweir Elementary School. A high performing school over 100 years old should not be closed. It should be cherished. And Atlantic Beach Elementary School. Those pressing to keep that school open wore pink shirts to show their support. Among them was Atlantic Beach Mayor Curtis Ford. To take the only school, in this case an elementary school, Atlantic Beach Elementary, out of Atlantic Beach would be to pull, to just rip the heart out of the city of Atlantic Beach. After public comment, the board reviewed a proposal from staff on a timeline for moving forward with changes to the district, agreeing to host at least seven public meetings with board members starting next month, where people can hear the proposal, ask questions, and provide feedback. Next, working groups will take a closer look, with the board set to approve the first five years of a plan in September or October. I asked school board chair Daryl Willie when families might feel the impacts of what they decide. Staff suggested some changes could be at least a decade away. Families can rest assured right now that we're not making any decisions for next school year. He says this potentially painful process is, at its heart, about education. The whole reason we're, we're doing this is to make sure that we can pour more resources back where they're needed, and that's into our classrooms. Ann Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station. Dates for those public meetings on the proposal for school consolidation have not yet been scheduled. However, as soon as we learn them, we will pass that information along to you.